Now let's see what happens when we make some mistakes and have some confusing problems. This time I'm going to run the first cell. And as we can see from the little star here, the cell is still executing. But instead of entering a number and pressing return, I'm going to go down to the next cell and try to run it. I see the little star indicating that it's trying to run. However, I'm not seeing any output. The problem is that the kernel is clogged up. It's waiting for this cell to complete and it still hasn't um, done so. So it can't properly complete the cell down here. Simply going up to the cell menu and clearing all the output makes it look like I fixed the problem, but I really haven't. If I go back and try to run the cell again, now I see nothing at all is happening and even though the cell is running. So this is a very confusing situation. The way to fix this is to restart the kernel. So if I go up here and go to restart and clear output, then it's going to restart the whole kernel and basically start everything back from scratch. So now if I click on this cell and click run, I get the output again. If I wanted to stop this cell from running without restarting the kernel. I can go up and click this stop button here and what that does is it interrupts the program. This is a good way to stop the kernel if you have a, a loop that's stuck and won't stop or any other reason why you want to stop the code gracefully. When you're finished and you want to uh, close down this tab. You can just simply click on the tab and close it. However, just clicking on the tab doesn't actually shut down the kernel. Um, if you shut down the whole notebook server or reboot your computer, then any kernels that are running will obviously get um, shut down. But if you're like me and you often have several Jupyter notebooks open um, because you're working on something, then over time you can have a lot of kernels that are using your computer's resources that are still running even though their tabs have been closed. So the best thing to do is when you're actually finished using a tab to go to the kernel tab and click shut down. If you do this, it will shut down the kernel and release all the resources associated with it. So here it says no kernel. Now I can go ahead and close the tab. I still have this kernel operating here. If I'm done and I want to just close out everything, let's say I don't bother shutting this kernel down, I can go uh, on the navigation page to the quit button. Clicking on the quit, quit button will shut down the entire Jupyter server. So if I do this, and close the tab and then go back to terminal. I can see that um, I have shut down all the kernels here and here and now the entire server is shut down. So it's not using any resources on my computer anymore.